Hey, hey everyone, everyone. Welcome, welcome back, back to, to Five Minute Eats. All right guys, today we've got a little drink review for you. This one is new, or at least new to our Costco. It is a very interesting one. This is the Joy ba Bubble Tea with delicious popping boba. No artificial flavors or sweeteners. And it has eight cups in here for $14.89, which makes it about a buck 86, I believe, per cup. And it comes in a box. Now you've got four cups of the mango passion fruit green tea. And then you have four cups of the strawberry lemonade green tea. So you get two different flavors in your little box here. And they've got interesting packaging. There are straws like on the side here that you take out and then you just like puncture the top. And it has bobas in here. So this is interesting. We saw this at Costco and we got to try it because let's face it, the, the boba craze is going on around yes. the world, especially here in America. I think it was what during the 2020, the boba ice cream was really popular. Oh, yeah. And now when you go to Costco, they always have it. Mm -hmm. And we reviewed it. So if you guys want to know what we think of it and similar boba ice cream definitely check out our archives and this does not need to be refrigerated yes but this is cold we're gonna shake it up and here's a straw so yes your usual boba straw yes and now we also reviewed if you've been wondering about it that um frozen package of the boba um milk tea yes. thing um and that was really good you know yeah that was really good now here's the thing though we don't like boba yeah we usually at the restaurant, tell them, leave the boba out. We love the actual drink. Just yeah. don't love the pearls. And I don't get it. I don't get why people like the pearls. It's weird. I don't either. But you know what? We've never had a popping boba. So I'm kind of excited to try that. Yeah, I'm not too excited. And guys, if you're new to our channel, basically, we review every day gross items. So before you spend your hard-earned money, let us tell you if it's worth it. We are going to try both of these out and tell you what we think of them. If you'd like to support this channel, the easiest way to do that is using our Amazon links the next time you shop there. All right, guys, welcome back. Our rating system, thumbs up by it again, thumbs down, we would not. So for me, this is a huge freaking thumbs down. This thing is nasty. So let me start. First thing is I did the, the mango passion fruit, green tea. That was actually like decent. I liked that one more. The strawberry lemonade was really nasty. It had like a, like a sour aftertaste, which I did not enjoy. Both products need to be sweeter, especially the strawberry lemonade, which is in dire need of it. <laughs> the, the big thing here is this freaking popping boba is nasty, 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 because like it just, it just pops in your mouth. Then the thing is, is I, it's like a plastic thing just in your mouth and you're trying to like swallow it, but it resists, man. It's just like <laughs> in your mouth and it's as if you like just put one of those um, uh, Ziploc bags in your mouth. That's the texture and taste of it. And so your mind is like, man, like just don't swallow this, right? Mm. And so I just took it out and it looks like when you look at it after it's been popped, it looks like plastic. Hmm. This is, um, I, I'm sure it's probably not right, but I don't really want to find out. I don't want to mess with this. It's not worth it. Thumbs down. Hmm. If you like what we're doing here, please consider sending us super thanks. It helps us continue to provide more amazing content. Alrighty, for me, this one is going to be a big ol' honkin' thumbs down. This is gross. It's gross on many, many levels. So I will disagree with you on one point, And that is the fact that I felt like the strawberry lemonade was the superior one because I don't tend to like passion fruit. There are some things that haven't been terrible, but to me, passion fruit almost always tastes like stinky feet. And I feel like this one is just right on up there with the stink factor. It just tasted so repugnant to me that I just did not want to keep drinking it. So that one is just based on the fact that they they put passion fruit in there or something that tastes like passion fruit and it's gross to me. 
but the strawberry lemonade one, it definitely could use a little bit something in there because it even still had like that kind of sour aftertaste and just didn't taste quite right. So I didn't love that one. It was the lesser of the two evils, but the number one worst thing in here is the freaking popping boba. I assumed that something like this would like, it pops and then disintegrates in your mouth, right? But this doesn't. Like it literally has the texture and mouth feel of like having a little piece of like saran wrap in your mouth that just doesn't do anything. Like it never breaks down. And you're wrestling with it, yes. trying to swallow it. Cause it sticks to the roof of your mouth. It sticks to your teeth and you're like trying to like scrape it off. And it just doesn't want to leave your mouth. It just wants to hang out there forever. I don't understand why it doesn't disintegrate. And whenever you take it out of your mouth and like play around with it, like it literally is just like a plasticky yeah, substance. Yeah, it feels like plastic. Yes. It's really, you know, a little concerning here. It is. And I just, I think that that's not something that you should probably be ingesting. Especially like, give it to kids. Don't do that. Exactly. This just seems like an obnoxious drink. And I feel like they're just capitalizing off the fact that everyone is boba crazy. And I'm sure that there are people out there that just absolutely love this. But I just don't love the mouthfeel of saran wrap in my mouth. <laughs> to sum it up, thumbs down, thumbs down. And if you guys buy from Amazon, use our Amazon link. The reason is when you do that, we get 10 cents, 50 cents, possibly even a dollar, which means we can continue to review things. All right, guys, that's the video. If you like what we're doing here, definitely check out our other channel, Food Prep Inc. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe.